Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Monday, September 4th, 2023. The main fire potential impacts continue to be cool, wet weather in place for one more day across the north and um, well, Idaho, Wyoming, and northern Utah with some drying already moving into southern Nevada. This drying will continue into Tuesday for most of the area, but we do see some storms lingering over northeast Nevada. And then by Wednesday, um, dry and warming conditions spread throughout the area. Yesterday was a, a pretty active day for many areas of the Great Basin, especially in northern and central Nevada, up into western Utah and southeast Idaho, western Wyoming, with quite a bit of um, shower and thunderstorm activity. Initial attack was very low with four new fires, 0.4 acres, and zero uh, acres on our large fires. Precipitation for the past seven days is shown here. The inches on the left and the the percent of normal on the right. Um, it's been another really wet week. Um, lots of storms across Nevada, the north and the south. Southwest Utah has been hammered with some storms day after day as well. A couple of dry pockets out there, southeast Utah, northwest Utah, although they're getting some precip this morning, and western Idaho, maybe a couple of areas that we're looking at um, for some dry spots heading into September. ERCs are all below the 50th percentile this morning. Many of those areas across the north are on a downward trend, but we will start to see these values increasing over the coming days as warmer and drier air builds in. This morning's satellite imagery shows that strong area of low pressure making its way across the Great Basin, um, located over northern Utah this morning, and we'll continue to see that low lift further north and east throughout the day today, exiting the Great Basin by tomorrow. Again, this afternoon, drier air already moving into southern Nevada and southern Utah, with the center of that low moving off to the north and east today. Expected precipitation totals for today are shown here on the left, and we can see most of the precip is expected over Idaho, Wyoming, and Utah, with these pink areas just over a half an inch, so still a pretty good day today. Um, the, the, we're really expecting precipitation just across the north throughout the rest of the day today. Cooler temperatures today also with highs near 70 or in the low 70s across the northern valleys. On Tuesday, warming and drying will begin to move into the Great Basin. We do have this little low that will move through uh, northern Nevada, which could kick off some showers and thunderstorms there, but otherwise clearing, especially across the south. Again, this little pocket of moisture could move through North Central, Northeast Nevada tomorrow. Uh, minimum relative humidities are still pretty high tomorrow with some drying starting to move into the far south. And we'll continue to see gradual warming and drying on Wednesday as a high pressure rebuilds across the southwest. Um, maximum temperatures will, be, will pop back up into the low to mid 80s by Wednesday. Um, and minimum relative humidities are still somewhat elevated across the north, but again, continued drying across the south, especially southeast Utah. Minimum relative humidities could be in the low teens. Um, really just super nice early fall, late summer weather. The three-day precip totals are shown here. Again, this is just really today is where we're expecting most of this precip um, as, it, as that low moves to the north and east through the area. On Thursday, the high pressure remains in place across the southwest, and we'll continue to see dry conditions across the basin with some warmer air um, continuing to move in for those mid, mid to upper 80s. And more of the same is expected on Friday as the, the high continues to be strong across the southwest. And the same continues into Saturday. We do see this storm developing off the coast of Baja, California. By the weekend, we'll see, we'll, we'll continue to track the, the movements and the expected precipitation trajectory of this storm. We'll see if any of it makes its way up into the Great Basin. And here we are into the weekend. Again, just tracking that um, storm off the coast, um, but generally dry conditions uh, heading into the weekend. The seven day precip totals match the three day because we're just expecting the precip really today. Uh, and maybe a little bit tomorrow before an extended drying pattern moves into the Great Basin. And the extended outlook for September 11th through the 17th keeps temperatures warm across the Great Basin and conditions generally dry, especially across the north and west. We'll see what happens in Utah. Maybe there's a better chance for some uh, precip to move in during the middle of the month. That concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please check back tomorrow for the latest updates.